YouTube, Snicker World, what's up? It's your boy back at it with another video. As you see, see, I got a couple of J's out right now. And this video is not about these shoes in general or the models or whatever. It's more about, again, some that I don't really like to dig off into. But it just been so much hate and so much stupid shit that's been going on or whatever. And I just really want to sit here, you know, say no, speak my mind on it and then put it to a rest or whatever. It's like... You got some of the most contradicting people out here in the shoe game, man, and they just don't know when to stop or whatever. You know what I mean? I'd have chopped it up with a few people who feel like I do, and then I met some, you know, who is opposed to it or whatever. You know what I mean? Again, it's your own opinion. Everybody got the right to feel how they sit here and feel. But my thing to you guys is that if it's people out here who is against something like these Jordan 4s, these 5s, and these 8s or whatever, should they even cop the shoe anyway and then turn around and then bitch about it when they been knowing or saying the same thing for years? These same individuals who say and say that these shoes are cheap quality and things like that, but they continue to buy them and they continue to spit salt and spit venom and all that dumb shit. Ain't that stuff, you know, like getting old to y'all, whatever like that? Like me, I don't tune into people channels like that no more because, again, if I'm a subscriber to you, you know what I'm saying? And if you constantly beating up a brand for putting out stuff that's not good, and you buying it, me as a, as a, uh, you know, a subscriber to your channel, I'm, I'm going to be like, then why is you pushing this product for it? But you're telling pretty much your subscribers or whatever don't get it in so many words, and some of them since they don't get it at all, but you turn around and you keep copping every cop though. Evidently, you building your shoe game up, but you want nobody else to get the same thing you getting because you keep telling someone don't buy something. You know, and it's bullshit quality, but you continue to turn to buy it. That's what I don't get when it comes to a lot of these guys and their channels or whatever. And like some of these guys who got the big channels and all that, I don't sit here and see like why they just won't tell the people certain things. You know, like um, uh, like I chopped it up with Nightwing or whatever. Everybody know who he is. You know, he got hell of a knowledge on shoes. But sometimes people like that even lack some of the things that you may sit here and know. And it's like on one of his videos, he recently said and said is that the reason why Jordan Brand used cheaper leather is because of the kids of today. Because they don't care. That right there is a bold, flat out lie. And I mean, and, and you know, I made a comment to him about it or whatever. I mean, you know, just, you know, man, you know, just, you know, swapping messages or whatever. And I said, and I said something, he said, not true. And I'm pretty much like, you know, how come? And I gave, you know, a little message back or whatever. I was like, uh, for the most part, people don't understand, and everybody should understand this. From generation to generation to generation to generation, shoes has changed. From the 60s all the way to the 2000s now, the quality of shoe has changed. When you look at Chucks or before Chucks, they had no air whatsoever in the foot area, whatnot, no padding, no anything, but they still made it, right? And then it went from one generation, change in the 60s, change in the 70s, change in the 80s, change in the 90s, and moving on up. They use leather for so long now, after they using it for a while, and then now they move it to synthetics. If you buy LeBron's and Kobe's and KD's and Chris Paul's and Mellow's or whatever else, you are buying almost a $200 shoe worth of synthetics if you're buying, uh, you know, LeBron James. And I don't see nobody spit venom. At LeBron James to putting out a synthetic shoe, fly wire, uh, you know, saying this on there, or some shoes that like the Mellow Nines or the Mellows, whatever, it got patent leather all over, all this synthetic shit that they sit here and then they using. Nobody out here is using banging real leather no more because leather is a thing of the past. They're using patent leather, but they're not using real leather. Now, it's okay for every other company to go do this transition. Reebok zigs and all that synthetic shit that everybody's sitting here doing or whatever. It's fine. But as soon as Jordan Brand with his retro line, as soon as he started adding synthetics to his uppers on his shoes of today, it started to be a problem. But Nike can do it to whatever shoe they want to do it to. Uh, Reebok can do it. Adidas can sit. Everybody can do it to Derrick Roses and all. But as soon as it comes to Air Jordan doing it to his retros, it's a problem. Now, granted, I can't tell you for sure if this is pure synthetic right here. All I know is that it was a split grain or what was said. Some people didn't say synthetic. Some said say it's a split grain. Sometimes they use full weight, um, uh, not full weight, but lightweight full grain leather or whatever. 
which again, you know, it's a lightweight. It's not that heavy duty stuff they used back in the day, that heavy leather or whatever. But then again, it continues to be a problem because people feel like they're not getting what they got back in the day. And then for the new cats who jump into the game, who listen to the older guys that preach that same information, like, well, you're getting ripped off for your money because you're not getting what we had. They follow that same trend. Me, I came from them days. I done had all of that or whatever. I've never been bitter or upset about it whatsoever. I just never liked the point of me buying, you know what I'm saying, or my parents here and getting at the time. A hundred some dollar shoe that creases in 10 minutes because the soft leather and things like that. If I'm paying 160 and I had these shoes for over a year and a half now, and you look at this shoe right now, had it for over a year and a half, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, look at the toe box, beautiful, or whatever. I'm getting my 160 out of this shoe that I said and I paid for with no creasing or whatnot. This one right here has minor creasing right there, you know, minor. And the people who bought these same shoes back in the day, or back when they came out in what, a 99 or whatever, they was creased the fuck up in two days or a week or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So you were getting your money's worth, but people were fucking bitching about the uppers on the shoes is not as good as they used to be. What is the difference between this shoe and the shoe back in the days, or this shoe or that shoe? You got the same midsole from back and down this shoe. The same bottom. You got the same straps. You got the same design, the same look, same tongue. Only thing that changed on the shoe was the fucking upper as far as material goes. A harder leather to a softer leather. That's all the fuck it is. And people are bitching about that and they talk about, oh, well, quality sucks and this thing, whatever like that. For who? What, because to you, because it's not the same? But then again, some of you guys will tell people don't buy something, but you continue to buy the same brand that you don't want to support no more. This shoe right here, perfect example, a beautiful ass shoe, 3M still pop, you know what I'm saying, uh, you got this, again, it's nice, thick and soft, this nice padding on here. Now, they could have probably made the shoe out of the softness that's up here and put it all the way around, but I guarantee you, the shoe have been fucked up in the toe box though. You got a soft area up here around this entire ankle area, and then it gets harder, you know, around everywhere else. Just like this shoe or whatever. Over due time, this shoe is going to start to give in. It's going to start to loosen up because, yeah, it's hard, but it's going to start to loosen up, and it's going to start eventually to break down. It's going to happen because you're wearing something, and time does kick in. So, therefore, they did give you something. You know, to where it's going to uphold for a while. But people don't appreciate that. They want to bitch and complain about it. And then again, they show you shoes or give you a preview of what the shoes look like and what they, you know, saying, you know, you can touch them and everything before you buy them. Go to your foot locker, finish line, whatever. And people talking about that they go in there on release, they look, oh, but no, I don't want them and everything. You can do all that stuff before you even get to the checkout line or even that day. Evidently, if you're waiting to that day to go purchase a shoe, evidently you sit here and do you want it that bad to wait that long versus doing it a week ahead of time or two weeks before. Look, oh, well, I don't like how the shoe feels. It sucks. Okay, well, whatever. Then again, you know what I'm saying? Don't buy it. Don't go to it. I'm tired of hearing stories about going on release date to be in line and not cop them. But then again, half of you guys do anyway. Same shit about the grapes and all the other shit or whatever like the all oh, where shoe is no... Uh, it's sorry quality. What the fuck is so bad about the grapes? It's the same material. It's this right here on this shoe on the grapes or whatever like that. And people just judge by pictures and shit like that. Again, what makes the 06 any different than the 2013s? Besides the, le the leather was a little softer on it. That was it. Or whatever. Nothing more to that. And I don't understand, again, the people with the big channels out here, they need to sit here and to tell people as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to sit and tell y'all what not. Nothing is wrong with the, with what the brand is sitting here doing. They're not sitting here ripping nobody off. Now, don't get me wrong. Every company that gave out some cheap material shoes before, yes, they have. I would not sit and take that back or whatever. Now, what they use, I don't sit here and know. Sometimes, yeah, you know, again, like the Air Force Ones. Anybody buy Air Force Ones, you getting that bullshit leather that people sit and say that you get on these. You're getting regular leather on those shoes or whatever like that, synthetic or whatever else. But when the premium come out, what they do, they give you something better. Nobody bitch about the Air Force Ones. 
nobody whatsoever. But as soon as a retro Jordan come out with this kind of leather on it like this right here, motherfuckers complain about it. This shoe came out in 2008 for the CDP. I remember when people on Nike talking all this kind of shit. I'm trying to wrap this up real quick uh, after I get this out. People for the CDP pack uh, of these Buzz Bunnies right here. In 2011, for some reason, people started backtracking. All of a sudden, because at first they said Jordan Brand was good from 05, I mean 88 to 05. Everything after that was bullshit, it was cheap, it was no good. Around 2011, all of a sudden, the shoes from 06 became good quality. Last year, 2012, the shoes from uh, 2007 were good quality. Around the same time of last year and this year, all of a sudden, the CDP shoes are great quality shoes besides the bread of lips that people still don't like. What, next year, in 2014, the shoes from 09 is going to be great quality. You know what I'm saying? So people are moving up the years now and calling them prior shoes that were garbage good quality. And then again, if I'm a subscriber to your channel and I've been listening to you the whole time, I'll be like, man, you full of shit. Because again, you preaching something else, but then again, all of a sudden now, the shoe is hot, the shoe is good. That's what I don't sit here and get, man, why people act like that. But again, I pick up to what people say and talk about on their channel, man, like for real. I get that. But for me to have this shoe right here, this motherfucking Air Jordan 4, for over a year now, and the shoe still looked this goddamn good. That's telling me something. Compared to the shoes that came out before. Same ones like these. Oh yeah. People bitch about the cracking of the midsole. Again. These people could put these big channels. Should have been broke this down to y'all. When you have like this part right here. It's the air pocket area. This right here is the midsole. When you have the foot going on top and the bottom right here meeting together, it's called compression. When it's too much weight compressing, it's going to pop in the middle. It's compression what is going to make the midsole pop. Now, on little kid shoes or whatever, it doesn't matter because, again, they got small feet or whatever and they don't have an air bed. But if you got, uh, uh, you know, an adult size shoe, if you weigh 150, these shoes only weigh a few ounces, less than a pound or whatsoever. The shoe is going to pop. It's going to crack because of your weight. It's going to sit here and meet up in the middle, right there in the midsole, because it's because it's, it's going to compress. And so many times, after a while, it's just going to split. It'll be the first time or the fifth time. And it's going to sit here and happen. Again, people like that should break that down to y'all, man, then let you know what's really sitting here and going on versus going on what they assume or whatever. But again, it's natural physics when it's in come to it or whatever. It's going to chip. It's going to crack. Not not because of the paint they sit and they use and shit like that or it's glossy or whatnot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Didn't it crack back in the days? Same way. And they thought they had great paint back then or whatever. It still cracked. And it's still cracking 25 years later. So what the fuck did that sit and tell y'all? But then again, y'all still listen to them without putting the understanding to your own self or whatever. It's just common sense, people. But that's my time. I got another video coming up, so don't try sitting and go nowhere. I'll be right back at you. Give me your thoughts, man. Then let me know what y'all sit here and think about this, man. People just complaining too much sometimes. All right, I'm out.